Right. Well, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Right. So you yes, know sir. that uh, now we are going to discuss uh, about microeconomics uh, and macroeconomics, and uh, uh, we will give our uh, uh, main concern on microeconomics. You know. Uh, that is our course title microeconomics so then anyway we cannot talk about microeconomics uh, without talking macroeconomics these two approaches or these two sections parts uh, are interconnected to each other so we can't talk uh, microeconomics without mentioning macro we can't, can't cannot uh, talk about macroeconomics without talking about microeconomics so it is very clear that these two uh, uh, approaches in economics are interconnected to each other. Okay, right. <coughs> I think you can remember uh, then economics has many of branches, you know, as I mentioned previously, you know, you can remember, uh, then there are many branches in uh, economics, you know health economics, education economics, international transport, uh, etc. There are many of branches. So you know why economics uh, is having many branches, you know the reason for that, right? So, uh, uh, however, so the main purpose of uh, applying in economics uh, or utilizing economics is to uh, analyze the rational behavior or economic behavior of all individual units, all economic units of a country. So that's why we are studying economics now, right? So why should they analyze the rational behavior of all economic units of a country? Because all economic units are dealing with scarce resources, right? That's why. So uh, we have to think that or we have to look uh, we have to see that how economic individual uh, 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 utilize care resources effectively and efficiently. Okay, that's why you know how economics is important, right? And also when we look at the all economic activities of a country, so it uh, it is very complex, uh, very dynamic, and very complex. So that's why uh, it is very difficult to uh, concern or study the economic behavior of different kind of or different type for very complex economic uh, activities okay or economic uh, rationale or economic behavior of all uh, different type of economic units right so the <coughs> you know when we look at the economic activities uh, of uh, various economic units of a country so uh, it is very complex one no so then so if we want to analyze how we, different types of economic units make their rational decision it's a very complex one okay it's a very complex one that's why economics actually develop two approaches right uh, which can be used to analyze the various or different types of uh, where economic behavior of various type of economic units of a country, right? So then economics develop two approaches, okay? For what? To examine the economic behavior of different type of economic units. So in order to actually uh, minimize the complexity of uh, studying economic behavior of all economic units of a country okay so what are these uh, what are the those uh, the, the approaches developed by economics developed by economics microeconomic approach and macroeconomic approach can you hear can you hear me yes sir yes, sir. yes sir. So why economics uh, uh, have developed uh, uh, these two approaches as microeconomics and macroeconomics as two parts of uh, subject matters of economics? Why? So in order to analyze the economic behavior of 
different types of yes economic unit okay right by employing one particular methodology right it is very difficult to analyze the uh, uh, the economic behavior of various type of economic units of a country right so therefore economics uh, uh, have developed these two approaches okay right uh, they are called they are named as microeconomics and macroeconomics right please note that these two are not branches and other branches of economics these two are yes these two are methodology so approaches of economics studying subject matter of economics microeconomics and macroeconomics okay so uh, when we look at the term of microeconomics uh, you know <coughs> so we can uh, divide that subject uh, that term into micro plus economics so why we are using term micro generally we are using term micro to indicate a very small thing micro microfinance right so then uh, uh, the microfinance so likewise so the micro institution right micro level manufacturing firms micro firms so now generally you know this term uh, you know is be is uh, uh, this term is used to indicate uh, to indicate small thing no very small thing small thing okay so that's why you know if you want to uh, observe or see some uh, uh, small thing so no, normally we are using a particular uh, specific uh, instrument right the instrument that uh, can be used to see very small small things uh, is called as microscopic study microscope you know okay right <coughs> we have used uh, such a instrument uh, uh, in our school life so when we uh, uh, do some experimental laboratory so if you want to see some micro things you know bacteria or some uh, cells of uh, uh, cells of something so then we are using that instrument no so i think you may also have uh, experience uh, in uh, using uh, a microscopy to see some small things right so then accordingly the term microeconomics is derived from the greek word mikros meaning small and term uh, so the you know the micro term uh, was derived from derived from greek word greek word what what is that greek what is that greek word mikros mikros having meaning small small meaning small okay so uh, uh, then when we just uh, see the term macroeconomics so this is a, this is another approach that can be used to study the economic behavior of uh, different type of economic units of a country that is also another uh, uh approach in studying economic behavior of economic variable so economic units of a country okay so uh when we just uh, look at the term so macroeconomics so macro 
term you know normally we are using to indicate large one or aggregative or uh, so uh, to mention the overall or aggregate uh, thing so the big thing so like a large thing okay so uh, then you know uh, this term also is derived from Greek word. Okay. Macros meaning large. Hello. Sorry for inconvenience cause, because uh, parallelly uh, our faculty board meeting is going on, right? As the head of the department of banking and finance, I should be there. But anyway, I already excused uh, because of this uh, uh, lecture. So, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. So uh, then we just... Uh, uh, look at the term macroeconomics, you know, the, the term macro uh, came from Greek uh, uh, language, uh, having meaning, you know, macros having meaning, but large, large. Okay, right. So uh, now uh, just uh, looking at the terms, uh, actually microeconomics and macroeconomics, you may have a little idea. So then so then uh, these two are uh, contrast approaches, right? Each are, then you know micro approach, microeconomic approach, you know, accordingly uh, in microeconomic approach. Uh, so we, we can evaluate economic behavior of small uh, economic units, okay? And also, uh, uh, in macroeconomic analysis, actually, we can do uh, what kind of uh, economic analysis? So we can actually uh, evaluate the economic behavior of large economic variables or aggregates, right? Okay, right. Just uh, looking at the uh, terms, okay? microeconomics and macroeconomics. So therefore, you, we, we know that accordingly, these two approaches are uh, then uh, are widely uh, used by economics to uh, evaluate the economic behavior of small individual units as well as economic behavior of large economic units or variables. Okay. So then accordingly, you know, subject matter of economics has been divided into two parts, you know. These two are not branches of economics, okay? These two are sub actually uh, two parts, two parts. The subject matter of economics has been divided into two parts, microeconomics and macroeconomics microeconomics and macroeconomics. And also we can say these two are the different approaches in evalu evaluating economic behavior of different economic units of the 
society or economy. The term microeconomics is derived from Greek word, as I mentioned you, micros, meaning small and term macroeconomics is uh, derived from Greek word macros, meaning large. Thus, microeconomics deals with the analysis of small individual units. So microeconomics analyzes or deals, okay, deals, but microeconomics deals with the analysis of small individual units. Then always microeconomics deals with uh, what kind of analysis? Microeconomics deals with the analysis of small individual units, small individual economic units, okay? Right, such as individual consumers. So, you know, in the country or economy, you know, there are a large number of consumers in the country, you know. Right? It's a very big number. Okay. So then, in microeconomic approach, we cannot uh, examine the economic behavior of all consumers who are in a particular country. Right? Okay. So that's why. Uh, in macroeconomics, we can do what? We can examine the economic behavior of individual consumers, individual consumers, by considering one particular consumer. Try to understand. Okay? Even though there are a large number of consumers in a country, at once, uh, in microeconomics, we cannot uh, examine or observe the economic behavior of all consumers in that particular country. Okay? So, in microeconomics, we cannot consider all individual, all consumers together. Okay? In other words, in microeconomics, we cannot consider economy as a whole, economy or country as a whole, okay? Because uh, by uh, employing by uh, employ by employing this uh, microeconomic analysis, we can evaluate or analyze the economic behavior of individual economic units. In other words, we can say that, okay, uh, in microeconomics, we can see how individual units make their rational decision. Okay, further we can uh, express the same idea, how, how individual economic unit Okay, utilize economic resources, productive resources, maximally or efficient, maximally and efficient. Okay, okay, so likewise to see that kind of, because, uh, uh, yeah. to see the economic behavior of individual economic units, we have to use microeconomic approach, microeconomic approach, okay, right. Uh, did you understand? Yes, sir. Do you have any question, please ask? If uh, you, uh, then uh, you could uh, under understand properly, please let me know. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Don't you have any issue? No, sir. No, sir. Can you understand properly? Yes, sir. Well, yes. Yes, sir. So then just few students are representing our uh, entire batch group, no? So I don't know uh, others views. So then uh, so uh, when some, then you know, when someone uh, uh, is saying that, uh, no, there, there is no issue. So then, but uh, there may be students, those uh, uh, couldn't understand properly, please let me know because uh, then uh, please express uh, uh, your ideas because uh, then, then when someone asks that, uh, when, listen, right? Uh, then someone may be thinking that, how can I say that uh, others can understand? So I couldn't properly understand the thing uh explained by me so then otherwise how can i ask if others can properly understand so then uh, why i uh i why i couldn't understand the thing okay right so then you know microeconomics deals with the analysis of small individual units Okay, small individual units such as individual consumers, individual firms, you know, individual business firms, okay, individual investors, or some individual uh, economic institution, economic in some individual uh, units, economic uh, uh, agencies, unit, okay, and also some aggregates or groups of individuals. Okay. So uh, you may be confused in that by, as I emphasized, so microeconomics should analyze the uh, economic behavior of small individual units. So then anyway, uh, so what I was uh, mentioning, so not only small individual units, but also small aggregates or group of individual units. But don't misunderstand that uh, those kind of small uh, uh, aggregates or groups of individual units uh, are, are not... Uh, are not uh, indicated, are not uh, uh, indicated to what the uh, large economic aggregates, not indicated by large economic aggregates. So then it means that a small, just a small uh, aggregate. So it means, uh, uh, so considering few uh, small number of, uh, uh, consumers, small number of firms, small number of markets like that. Okay, you know that uh, uh, then in a country there are large number of consumers. When we consider all the economic behavior of all consumers who are in that particular country, that is large economic aggregate. No, so at that, th that time we considered uh, consumers all consume. Okay. So in microeconomic approach, we cannot examine the economic behavior of all consumers in a country. But we can consider, we can, cons we can evaluate or cons uh, examine the economic behavior of small group of uh, individuals, small group of consumers, right? So on, uh, on our purpose. So then if we want to see uh, economic behavior of, uh, of selected uh, consumers,
based on a particular product or based on location or whatever. If you want to see economic behavior of selected few consumers, okay? Selected few consumers, that is also microeconomic analysis. Because at that time, we have not considered all consumers together in order to evaluate their economic behavior. We selected or we considered just small number of consumers on our particular purpose. Okay, that kind of economic analysis also also coming under microeconomic analysis. That is also microeconomic analysis. Okay, small group of consumers or sometimes uh, if you want to consider one particular industry, for example, if you want to see how uh, firms, the firms of uh, biscuit industry in Sri Lanka make their rational decision. How uh, the firms who are in biscuit industry utilize their resources effectively and efficiently, or how firms in the biscuit industry make uh, or generate maximum profit. Okay, if you want to evaluate that kind of uh, economic behavior of uh, firms uh, which are in that in uh, in a particular industry in a particular industry, okay. So uh, 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 in that case, uh, we have not considered all manufacturing firms. Uh, in the in that particular country, we just selected a uh, few firms, okay, uh, which are operating in a particular industry, right? You know the yogurt industry, ice cream industry, milk powder industry, telecommunication industry, okay, biscuit industry, uh, then uh, telecommunication industry, okay. So when we select a few firms based on our particular industry, okay, so we can evaluate their rational decision-making process or rational economic behavior, okay? So that kind of economic analysis is also considered as microeconomic analysis. Did you understand? <coughs> Did you understand? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, no issue. No, sir. Right. Uh, however, you know, <coughs> macroeconomics is totally a different approach from microeconomic approach. Right? So uh, you have just idea about the term of macroeconomics, okay? So you uh, know that accordingly, microeconomic approach can be applied or used to analyze the economic behavior of, what do you think? Small individual units of a country or large economic aggregates of the country. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes, yes sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you get my us. idea? So, macroeconomic analysis 
can be applied or used to evaluate the economic behavior, rational economic behavior of, there are two options, of individual economic units or large economic aggregate. Large economic aggregate. Yes, large economic aggregates. Why? Why? From microeconomic analysis, definitely we can see the economic behavior of large, large economic aggregates. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you give me one minute for my turn? Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. sir. 